All right, quick pop quiz for you. Before exercising on a beach, a woman should A, look around to make sure there are no religious people whose sensibilities her exercises might offend, B, dress modestly so that conservative believers won't take offense, or C, not give a fuck about any of that bullshit and just exercise. If you answered C, congratulations, you did better than Instagram. So this one comes to us from Terry Firma over at the Friendly Atheist blog, and it involves a social media influencer who had the audacity to not only wear a bathing suit to a beach, but the additional temerity to squat down. All this despite the fact that a mere couple dozen yards away, religious people were doing religious stuff. So somebody takes a video where they shift the camera back and forth from religious people setting up for religious thing and sexy lady in a swimming suit squatting. It was posted to Instagram with the title Ignorancers in the Wild, which is a terrible fucking pun, and racked up scores of comments from people who couldn't believe she didn't treat those people's religious observances with more respect. But here's the thing, and it's a nuanced argument, so I'll forgive you if you have to pause and look up some of the terminology here, but fuck them. I know this happened in Indonesia where social expectations are different, but there's no taboo against women wearing bathing suits there. The video and all the holier-than-thou commenters that shriek about how disrespectful she was being were nothing but slut-shaming cloaked in cultural sensitivity. And for whatever it's worth, by the way, the people doing the religious thing in the video seem entirely unaware that this woman is even there. So this is 100% a case of other people being outraged on their behalf. And if all you need is something to be outraged by, you could have just asked. I've got plenty of that. Like, how about Mark Lee Dixon, leader of Right to Life East Texas? That's a group that has been running around encouraging local governments to pass ordinances that declare Planned Parenthood and the Lilla Fund to be criminal or unlawful, as if that's decided on the local ordinance level. And because people are stupid and local governments are made up of people, several cities have actually adopted those ordinances. But it turns out that there are actually laws against labeling somebody criminal when they're not that. So the Lilla Fund, an organization that helps low-income women in Texas pay for abortions, is suing them for defamation. And look, I am a long ways from a legal expert here, but if defamation laws don't prohibit drafting legal documents that have you declared an accomplice to baby murder, I feel like they aren't doing their job. Anyway, there's obviously plenty more misogyny where that came from, but nobody who lived through the first half of 2020 needs more bad news. So I'll do my part by closing it here and handing things back over to Noah and Heath.